Welcome to the Omnic Recap, where every Sunday we look back at what happened during the past week in Overwatch. And this week we got some bad news on BlizzCon that might prove to be good news for Overwatch 2. Well, kinda. More about that in a minute. First, the other news for this week. It has happened. McCree is no more. He is part of Overwatch history from now on. A name that is being whispered in the wind. Well, whispered. On Tuesday, the name of our favorite cowboy was changed from Jesse McCree to Cole Cassidy. For now, that name change is limited to labels and some voice lines. It was pretty unceremonial. Most of us still yell, McCree behind us! But that is going to change over time. Because that's how it goes. That's the way our brain works. And at one point, that will become the battle cry for those that have been playing this game for way too long. Or for those that are stuck in history. The thing that will push things forward a little quicker is going to be lore that explains the name change. As I discussed last week, I really hope we get that lore right after the Halloween Terror event. But on the other hand, why would they change the name now and then in two weeks do an event to explain it? Why not do it all at the same time? Might we have to wait a little longer? It is possible. By the way, the Halloween Terror event is ending on Tuesday. So make sure to get all the skins you need. Now back to Cassidy. What we know is that Cole Cassidy was his birth name and that he changed his name to Jesse McCree because he was running from his past. The thing is, for as far as we know, no, he was already called Jesse McCree when he started the Deadlock Gang. And he was in his teens back then. What is a teenage cowboy from the future hiding from? Well, let's just hope that we find out soon. This game can use some new lore. A shakeup or something. Something more than just balancing changes. Talking about balancing changes. Remember that experimental card from last week? A lot of people were rather upset about both the Cassidy roll in the air change and the Junkrat stuff. I discussed all of that in last week's video. I'll leave it up there somewhere. Now, it seems that Blizzard has heard all of that feedback and decided to go back to the drawing board so those changes will not be going live at least not the way we saw them in that experimental card and the final bit of news is a bit of a sad one let me enter it with a throwback this week two years ago i was in los angeles to attend a blizzcon 2019 that was the year that they officially announced overwatch 2 yeah that has been two years but i still get goosebumps just thinking back of that moment anyways a few months later the pandemic hit and all events were cancelled including including BlizzCon 2020. Now to make up for that BlizzCon, they did a virtual event in February 2021. BlizzCon 9. <laughs> Clever name, right? It was a two-day virtual event. It wasn't the same thing as BlizzCon, but still, it was something. A few months later, they also confirmed that there wouldn't be a physical edition of BlizzCon this year, that they had planned another BlizzCon line for February 2022. And this week, that got cancelled too. That's a lot of cancelling. The official reason is that they want to keep the teams focused on the projects. They want to ship their games, and that's understandable. But to be honest, I also think that February was just a bit of a weird month, a weird time for an event like BlizzCon. At this point, I don't think they have enough to talk about even at a blisk online if my predictions are correct we'll be playing the beta in february 2022 the beta for overwatch 2 that is so we'll already know everything that we kind of need to know or that they want us to know it's just like doing a status of the game that you're developing and that is going to be released just a few months later it would be weird on top of that i think they might be aiming for a new physical edition in november 2022 and at that point they'll be able to talk about the post-release future for overwatch 2 so maybe a new hero or an expert Expansion. They'll also be further along with the development of Diablo 4 by then. And maybe that's the time when they want to announce a new expansion for World of Warcraft. Or maybe World of Warcraft 2. Oh, yeah, I, I don't know about that last one. But those few extra months will definitely give him a lot more to talk about. And personally, I do not mind that they canceled this combine. Like I said, it was okay, but it wasn't the same. And if that cancellation makes room for all of us to meet again in Anaheim, California for a physical edition of BlizzCon 2022, I'm perfectly fine with that. I cannot wait to fly back to Los Angeles. It always was kind of a nice start of my winter. I still got to wear shorts and t-shirts in November. Hey, I do not get to do that right here in Belgium, trust me. Oh god, no. They were also going to rethink what BlizzCon is, and they want to make it more inclusive, which sounds really good. I just hope they don't change the core experience too much. Because apart from those rotten apples hitting on everything that breeds and being di- yeah, I had to censor myself. Most people at BlizzCon are actually really nice. And it basically is a two-day celebration of all the games that we love. Ah, the memories. Anyways, for now, that was it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys during my stream or in my next video. Till then, bye-bye. Thank you. Monsieur, does this mean Overwatch is back? Did 
Did you like 